I'm gonna try to print a Greek column. So let's start with the modeling. With a cylinder, I'm gonna use 20 vertices for the flutes. I'm going to make a Doric column and nothing for the cap fill. With all the faces selected, hit I to inset and tick individual. So I can Alt E and extrude faces along normals and extrude inwards. Now I can add a subdivision surface modifier. I need to add some supporting loops with Ctrl R. Now I'm gonna move the vertices to make this part of the column, the shaft. Now all I need to do is to add a face here, then inset with a new cylinder. I can make the capital. I'm gonna add three loop cuts, select the top face, then enable proportional editing, fall off to sharp and scale. And maybe I can use sphere in the fall off to make it more rounded. And I'm gonna scale up the bottom of the shaft because Greeks didn't make straight columns. This way the columns will look taller when we see them from below. For the base, I'm gonna use a cube, then a cylinder. I want to print it in parts, so I'm gonna join these two objects with a boolean modifier. Just hit union. And the same for the capital. It's important to join the objects with a boolean modifier so I can print it without any problem. Of course, we can also use a remesh modifier. I want to snap the parts together, so I'm gonna make a little cylinder and duplicate it. Scale it up just a little bit. I'm gonna use the bigger cylinder to make a hole in the shaft and also the capital using the Boolean modifier. And I'll do the same for the bottom, in the base, and the shaft too. Then I'm gonna make the entablature with a cube, and I'm using the same tools, extrude and bevel. This part is for the frieze and the cornice. Finally, I can add some ornaments. I need to make sure to close all the openings so I can join it with the boolean modifier. Now I can export it in STL file, but I have some problems with the scale. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm using millimeters in units in Blender but I found that I need to increase the scale of this one to 100. Anyway, I can still modify the scale in the slicer. I'm using Orca slicer with the default settings. It doesn't need supports, so I can hit slice, export the G-code, and move on to the 3D printer. Each column took more than an hour to print. I'm using a marble PLA, it really looks like marble. I don't know if you can see it, so I don't need to paint it. Okay, I hope you find the video interesting. Thank you for watching. See you next time.